When you're ready, Kristoff. Uh, let's take a look at the tail of the tape first. As you see here, 23-year-old Hungarian, Roland Solnoki, against the 26-year-old Frenchman, Axel Nobu. Pretty similar stats, so experience resides with Ce Nobu. Vous est par la a little bit of a typo there with the record of Alex Nobu is in fact two and one, not six and four as the record suggests. Someone caught sleeping in the OB van. Yep. There we go, welterweight action. Axel Nobu in the red, Roland Solnoki in the blue. Oh, immediate takedown there from the Hungarian, but look at that. Right Nobu back up. Yeah. Lovely short shot there. Oh, oh. oh. I love the, how we loaded up that elbow. Solnoki doing the right thing, closing the distance on the striker. And honestly, this is pretty much a grappler versus striker kind of matchup. Obviously, they are both capable in every aspect of MMA, but you know, if push comes to shove, they definitely have a favorite yeah, area. Little, little bit of a throwback fight. The bear, Sonoki, definitely has the claws out right now. Landing nice little short shots, keeping his opponent honest, doing just enough to prevent the referee from initiating the break. Yeah, absolutely, that's smart. And while well, inexperienced in terms of pro MMA, like he alluded to in the walk-ins for uh, Phil, very, very experienced grappler. Oh, nice use of the wizard there from Nobu. Trying to hit a trip of his own, but that's going to be incredibly difficult against somebody with the wrestling pedigree that Zonoki has. Right now in the open forum of the mat. Zonoki's going to do everything he can to get Nobu against the cage, just as we see. And it's a great idea. It's, re it's taking the sting out of the fight. It's forcing Nobu to fight the to fight the fight that Zonoki wants as opposed to getting off his greatest assets, which which are his hands. Yeah, I mean, we saw that in, in uh, Nobu's previous fight in Hexagon MMA. He is a dangerous guy with his fist. Zonoki showing very, very, uh, very, very smart tactics right here. He's nice struggling work. though, getting the fight to the ground. Uh, this is where... Oh, is there perhaps a little eye poke or...? I think his pinky fell out of a glove. There we go. Okay, okay. Come on, Right back into it. And this is exactly where Nobu wants the fight to take place. But he has to stay on his bike. He needs to implement lateral movement. If, he, if he's a static target standing right in front of Zonoki, he will inevitably be taken down. Yeah, great point there, Phil. Thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> And you can see there's Solnoki trying to blitz his way into things, but Nobu wise to it. And there is a noticeable size and reach difference there. Another failed takedown attempt from Solnoki. Much better work from Nobu in that exchange. Oh, oh. he got stunned. I think Solnoki surprised himself a little bit there. I don't think he was a little bit, he landed the shot, he rocked Nobu and was like, ah, damn, what do I do now? Yeah, you certainly wasn't expecting it. Once again, Nobu needs to create space for himself here. He needs to disengage. And so not, yeah, I'm not even sure he was aware that he had Nobu hurt or else I believe he should be standing off when he landed that big shot and maybe try and pick him apart a little. Yeah, exactly. Keep him up against the cage and just try landing shots that would probably be what would be most advised. Again, good work from Nobu to initiate the break. Needs to be smart. Oh, beautiful shot. Stiff jab from Nobu. Oh, nice kick as well, but look at that, Cholnoki finally gets the takedown he's been looking for. The man from Hungary at that shot. He was hungry for grappling too. Hey. Doing a good job right now, just again, completely compressing Nobu. But with those big long limbs, you can see the guard of Nobu slowly trying to creep up the back of Zolnoki. Let's not, let's not forget that Nobu's first pro win was by way of first round triangle, so you know, clearly he, he's got a, a, an ace or two up his sleeve on the canvas. Right, right. He has the guard open, and when the guard is open, that's usually indicative of the fact a fighter is trying to make something happen. You can see he's pushing away. He's trying to get in on a leg. Oh, what a scramble. Nice job there. He's wary, though, of the potential knee that Solnoki could throw once Nobu gets up. There it is, good call, Seb. And right now, with a minute left in the first round. Oh, nice jab there from Nobu. That was like... That's twice. 
Lysi has landed a stinging jab, but with 45 seconds left in the round, Noble needs to do something to take it back. Great start with a leg kick. And those leg kicks could very well be money in the bank if Noble keeps landing them. Have, have you noticed when Zolnaki fires off his own hands, he leaves the chin a little bit high, exposes yep. the chin a little bit. Now, if I'm sitting here and I can get a read on that, chances are that the corner of Nobu have got a read on that too. Yeah, great point. So going into the second round, I would expect Nobu to start firing off maybe like a double jab straight, two jabs, one straight right, because that chin will be there. Very much expects Zolnaki to to continue the fight in such a fashion, close the distance, get the takedown, and try and establish positional dominance. Here we go, second round. And again, this, this is the lateral movement I was talking about that we wanted to see from Nobu, doing a great job now. Doesn't want to be a straight line fighter because you can only go so far back before the cage, cage walls against you. Yeah, that's a great point. And you see he's almost, he's showing the faking, faking the legs as well, trying to gauge the reactions. Oh, wasn't far away. Call Nobu the barber because he took a little off the top there. Nice work from Nobu here to defend. Doesn't want to get taken down. Creating a free and we can see a big move. Oh, oh, these knees are huge. And he's, he's hurt him. He needs out the, the, the mouth guard. Oh, oh that ref is... referee, what are you doing? You wait for a natural break in the action. With the greatest of respect, that's a bad call from the referee. Yeah, should, have waited, should have waited for a natural break in the action, but he may just be delaying the inevitable right now. Yeah, so, so lucky. He's on roller skates right now. Oh, big shot over the top, though. Throws the heel near him. Nobu just needs to continue being selective with his shots. I mean, he is picking him apart like a Lego. They don't need to be concussive shots. If he throws at about 60% power, but with good frequency, he will catch Zolnoki. Oh, absolutely. That's 5,000 cuts, right? Oh, oh what a miss. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing a bunch of high-flying action. Is this MMA or Cirque du Soleil? Look, I mean, that hand is absolutely pinned. Zolnoki's hand is pinned to his chin. Yeah. There's, a, there's a beautiful switch kick to the body available to Nobu here. Great catch there, Phil. Yeah, so Lucky does not like the jabs that are coming his way. Plenty of time here in the second round as well. It's the subtlety just to step off to the side before throwing that kick. It's beautiful from Nobu. Yeah. It's that jab again. Such an adept striker. Right now, we've got the fox outwitting the bear. Again, choreographed, telegraphed, take down. But nice job there from Zolnoki. Yeah, he needs to do something to get Nobu's respect on the feet. Again, there's that jab, pins up. If I was Nobu, I'd be attacking right now. Yeah, honestly, that's it's fantastic sportsmanship, but not the smartest way of fighting. The fans here in the Teatro de Orange did not like that one little bit. They want to see action. And it looked like the referee gave a stern warning to show Oh! Huge head kick there for Nobu. Once again, the man from Hungary eats it. <laughs> this is a great fight, Sebastian. I'm loving this. Oh, man, it's fantastic. And you can see Nobu growing in confidence. Everything he's throwing now is with intent. Absolutely. And he's landing at will. Another head kick lands. You can feel the finish hanging in the air. Beautiful use of the wizard once again from Nobu to defend the takedown. Now, he just follows up a beautiful straight, patted down the lead hand of Zolnaki and came over the top. That is gorgeous. Oh, that was a vicious leg kick there from Nobu. And it's the, it's the changing of the levels from Nobu. He's attacking the head, attacking the body, attacking oh. the legs. Oh, and he knocks out his mouth chill again. No! I think the referee's called it. Referee, what are you doing? Come on. That, that is, how do you, he's taking a point away, but honestly, the, the finish was right there. He took a point away, but he also took the finish away from Nobu. Yeah. That was a fight, that was a potential fight ending sequence. According to the rules of mixed martial arts, you wait for a natural break in the action. It is deafening in here. Oh, but would you look at that? Shulnoki gets the takedown with just over a minute Triangle. to go. Uh, if, 
Oh, he's underhooking the leg. This could be tight. A little bit of gap here. He needs to readjust the leg slightly. Yeah. He might switch to an arm bar, bro. Oh. So Nogi managed to get out and now has the back, but not a bit of a scramble. And Nobu not so quick. He probably could have gotten back to his feet there. So Nogi just in survival mode right now. The nose has been opened up and is leaking like a badly installed kitchen tap. Yeah, I mean, so Nogi is going to need a doctor and a plumber after this. <laughs> But Nobu's doing a great job, even landing like little, little pity pat elbows from the yeah. bottom here. It's I mean, he's basically neutralizing the advantageous position that Cholnoki yeah. has right now. End of the round. I didn't hear, I didn't hear the timer go off. Yeah, me neither. But once again, that's a fantastic round for, for Nobu. With the greater, get, greatest of respect to the referee, we should pretty much be looking at the finish here from Nobu. Yeah, honestly, I, I do suspect that the French MMA Federation will have a word with the uh, referee after his fight because he directly affected what could have been the end of a fight. I mean, those knees are just brutal. Yeah, let's talk about some of the good things we saw from both fighters here. Beautiful striking. Once again, that straight was sumptuous from Nobu. And so Nogi did a great job to score the takedown in the closing stances. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he, like you said before, Phil, you could see Nobu's confidence growing, and he was landing almost at will. This is a point where, honestly, he could easily have finished the fight there. Potentially that a 10 8 round then. Well, there was a point yeah, taken the away. Point so it's, definite, yeah. it's definitely a 10 8. And honestly, if there was already a 10 8 round just based on the striking, which I wouldn't be mad at, yeah. it could be a 10 7 round. Nobu very much in cruise control so far. Oh, oh beautiful combination. Nobu's really starting to run away with this fight. So Nogi needs to do something to completely change the complexion. He needs, to, ball. he needs to set those takedowns up. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. I mean, right now we all know what Cholnoki wants to do. Everybody and their grandmother knows it. He wants a takedown. So what do you got to do? Disguise your desires there. Oh, no. Oh. So now that he's up the frequency, he's putting the straight behind the job. Beautiful sequential striking from Nogu. Oh, I, I think the, the finish is near. Nice work by Nobu, not, not to rush the finish. Uh, lead legs wide open, nice uppercut. Do you see what I mean by the chin coming up every time? Yeah. Zonoki extends the jab in hand. It's that striking inexperience. It, it's just so clear which one of these two is a comfortable striker. Nobu, if he just turns up the heat incrementally, he could be looking down the barrel of the third win by stopping in his MMA career, mixing it up beautifully here. This is champion striking. Uh, right now, I'm sure, sure lucky that might need to be saved from himself. Referee called it. That's the best thing the referee's done tonight. Yeah, and another finish for Axel Nobu, making three in a row, two straight here in Hexagon MMA. The Fox gets it done before the final bell once again. Let's hear what he's got to say. Poids de vin, Axel Nobu en mode futuroscope parce que c'était en vision 360. On va donner un tonnerre d'applaudissements pour cet homme-là, Bumpton Bruce. Give it up for Roland, Roland. Wow, what a fight. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Axel, indiscrétion, je vais voir ton coach à la fin du premier round sur l'antenne d'RMC. Je dis, euh, il est peut-être un petit peu malmené. Non, non, tout va bien, tout va bien. On adore, c'est un plan qui se déroule sans accro. Il a presque débuté trop fort, le Hongrois, et derrière, il était, il était à bout par rapport à toutes tes tentatives. Comme l'a dit le coach, on savait qu'il a démarré à démarrer fort. Et nous, on a travaillé le cardio, on savait que ça allait être une guerre, surtout le premier round. Après, on s'est dit qu'il n'allait pas tenir forcément les trois rounds. 
Et comme on l'a pu le voir, c'est ce qui s'est passé. Donc, comme le coach a dit, le plan s'est bien déroulé. Le roulé. On a fait une bonne prépa. Je remercie tous mes partenaires. Ma team, merci le public d'Orange. Eh, c'est fou de combattre ici. Eh, vous êtes chaud en vérité. Eh, vous êtes chaud. La vérité, vous êtes chaud. Si je vous étiez pas là, j'aurais pas accéléré autant. Eh, vous êtes chaud. Merci, franchement, merci. Faites du bruit pour tous les autres combattants d'ici. Eh, c'est un truc de ouf. Merci à vous, merci à vous. I knew my opponent was going to start for the last time and now that was the plan. We waited and then we executed and thanks for this amazing crowd. Est-ce que tu veux rajouter quelque chose le patron est là, il y a des choses à demander. Tu veux demander pour quelque chose Comme je l'ai dit, moi je veux rester actif. Je pense que j'ai montré que j'avais le cœur pour combattre. Donc dès qu'il y a un prochain hexagone, je suis prêt. Je m'entraîne toute l'année, euh, matin et soir, tout le temps, avec un travail à côté. J'ai eu un enfant il y a une semaine, donc c'est vraiment compliqué. On sait ce que c'est. Ouais, la fin de prépa était dure entre le cutting et le manque de sommeil. Donc je remercie vraiment ma femme qui a été là, qui s'occupe du petit pendant que je suis là. Franchement, c'est plein de sacrifices et c'est le fruit de beaucoup d'efforts. Merci Orange en tout cas. C'est des combattants et c'est des têtes bien faites. Voilà, I'm ready for whatever, whatever it takes. I'm a young dad and I'll be still working. Axel Nobu, merci beaucoup.